Oh god. Oh god. All right. Hello everybody. My name is Captain Cheesecake and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I I'm really fucking nervous for this uh, this video. Because I know what happens and it's not pretty. It's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, I already know what happened. I don't know why I thought it would be different, but it still happened. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Yatsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Uh, uh, why, where, whoa, huh? You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. Where'd the music go? That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Yeah, where the fuck is Yuri? Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. No, she didn't. <laughs> that dummy. Oh, God, you shouldn't be saying any of these things. You think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. Um, I'd say, I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking, but maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should, you should take a little responsibility for her. I mean, especially after you exchange, your exchange with her yesterday. I'm sorry you were, you, you what? You kind of left her hanging this morning. You'd, oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. I'm fucking scared of you now. <laughs> but I stammer embarrassed. Did Sarah really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a, a couple now? I didn't really plan to bring it up with anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry, I probably know a lot more than you think. Uh, 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 Monica's being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, you want to check out the pan flips? Honestly, I'm fucking nervous. I don't want to. They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems are the ones they perform during our practice. It's this. I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't heard read before. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay, um, oh no, oh no, oh no. Get out of my head, 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 get out of my head.
my head, get out of 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 my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I should know, before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wait. Monica, where'd you go? What is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Ah! Yeah? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Did you do something? Who moved the rug? What happened? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that after me. I quickened my pace. Uh, we need some fucking, like, amped up me. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal. At least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they always have been. That all she needs is and what I want to give her. Oh, I fucked that up. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Oh, no, 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 no. I, like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Oh! Save! Save! Fuck! Ah! I'm getting freaked out, man. How the fuck did she... I don't remember any of this. All I remember is this next shot. Sayori, she really is a heavy sleeper. That's not funny! <laughs> I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. I'm waking her up in her own house. I'm going, like, way back there. I can't watch this again. <laughs> I'm moving back. Oh, my God. Bro, if, they, if I had fucking face cam, you'd be laughing your asses off right now. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. Oh, mm. oh no, I don't want to live through this again. There's no response. Oh, God! I really didn't want to have to enter the room like this. Isn't it kind of breach of... It, 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 oh, my God. Isn't it a kind of breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. Ah! I gently open the door. Ah! Oh, my God. I've never freaked out more like this in my life. Uh, oh, hi! <laughs> well! Uh, an except exception has occurred. What? Ah! Uh, it didn't change! <laughs> <laughs> thumbnail! I'm kidding! I'm kidding! This is not the thumbnail, but like, holy fuck me! What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be! This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. No, 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 no. Sayori wouldn't do that. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. So I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I should have had my headphones on the whole time. I didn't. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be good. 
Hold on, hold on. Does, does Sayori not have any fucking parents? <laughs> How am I the first one to know she's dead? Actually, Monica was the first to know, but... Still. That was not funny. That, that was not funny. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. I'm fucking twitching. Holy shit. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? I, should, I, sh I shouldn't have confessed to her. No, I think she would have done it anyways. That's not what Sayori needed at all. Even She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Okay, maybe. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is all my fault. I'm swarming through... My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. This is fucked up. Someone I grew up with. Someone she's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. Can bring her back. Fucking red to the face, too. Holy shit, it's fucking hot in here now. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. This, ironically enough, it is. <laughs> I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 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 What? Wait, whoa. Ooh, 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 uh, well, now I know why it's not suitable for ch children of those. Uh, I, uh, the fuck. Honestly, I'm going to be frank with you, I knew that happened. I just don't remember anything afterwards. Okay? Start a new game. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit! See an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention by drawing herself. That girl is... Oh! What kind of friend you ever see someone making it? Oh my god! We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more. Oh! I've heard a sign out on a crosswalk for the Ooh! 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 Okay, it's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friends going in friend groups to walk into school together. I ride the bus. I don't walk to school. Fuck that. It's fucking freezing out there. Meanwhile, I've always walked, I've always walked to school alone. Wait, no, wait, no! I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. No! No, you can't do that! <laughs> but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting a buy on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Actually, there would be more girls than dudes, to be 100% honest, but... The school day is as ordinary as ever, and before and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at a wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There aren't really aren't that any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yes? Oh my hi! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Monica, you over here? <laughs> what in the fuck? Oh my goodness, I don't expect didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. 
Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having a smile on me genuinely feels a little... What did you come here in here for anyway? Oh, i just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. You know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could have checked the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? Did you quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. That's exactly what fucking debate is, you moron. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Wolf Law! That was not expected. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> Kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. Oh. Oh. It's really hard for, to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps their manga collection in the club room. Wait. Really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Did Monica say... She? Hmm... Hey, Alex. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? I... I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could be, do me a big favor? I wouldn't ask you to join, but... If you could at least... At the, wait, hold on a second. Am I saved still up here? Oh no! Wait, no, that's today. Never mind. Wait, no, that's not today. Where my saves go? Oh! No! It's fine. It's fine. No say Ori. I'm cool with that. <laughs> oh! Why, Dan? Why? If you could at least, very least, visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ha! Huh, awesome! You really, you're really sweet, Alex. You know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go then? I'll look for, I'll look for, I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. I am. Oh well, shit! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. Holy fuck! I know this is like a completely different timeline, but like, holy fuck, bro. Who lives in the house next to you then? Is it the brown house from The Simpsons when there's like no neighbors? I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings the open classroom. Wow. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eh? A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Why you kill the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Big Cheese. That would be so much funny. Wait, hold on a second. You didn't ask me to change my name when I started a new game. I can see right through you, Monica. You're as clear as water. Except water sometimes is not that clear. You're as clear as a window. Okay? I can see right through you. As a matter of fact, if I put my, my hand on, my, on your shoulder, it might go right through. That's how fucking transparent you are. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls. Wait, you forgot one of them? You oblivious fuck! So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude, his name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Your small figure makes you look like a first year student. Call her a Pomeranian. It's funny that way. 
Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual, and this is Yuri, the Vice President. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran Alex in a classroom and he decided to come check out this club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica, did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, big cheese? The girls have a few desks arranged for the t to form a table. Is there one that happens to be empty? <laughs> Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. I still feel, still feeling awkward. I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. What the fuck time is it? I got time. I don't have to be anywhere for at least another few hours. I'm fine. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. No, no, not many people are very interested in putting on all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. Wait a minute, is it good? I'm thinking. I'm thinking too hard in this game. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Wait, is this like Groundhog's Day, but instead of like repeating one day, we're repeating like three days? I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. I've read all of this, haven't I? Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri turns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gives us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri is just trying to impress you. <laughs> That's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be my past, a pastime for me, but at least you enjoy tea. Or at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, uh, what, uh, what kind of things do you read? Well, uh, considering I've little over the past few years, but they don't have a good answer of that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her fingers. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up and that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't that amazing how a writer can be so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Dan! Did you do that? Your foreshadowing is bullshit! God damn it, Mr. Salvato, what the fuck? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. Yeah, it was, uh... You ever read 1984? That's not a horror story, is it? I don't know. This week, grasp something I can relate at uh, relate at to an minimum to at a minimum level. This rate, you might as well have been a conversation with a rock. Wow, I fucked that up. I expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your person. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. 
Ugh. I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, it's I just Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called "Don't Say It Out Loud" and give that back. Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Mm, not a very competent writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing them even the deepest reaches of your heart. Dan, are you fucking with me? I feel like I'm being fucked with. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri quizzically look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, uh, uh I, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Wait, 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 no, you won't. Hey, hey, hold up a second. No, you're not. No, you are not. How am I just noticing that? No, you are not. You are not fucking vice president, you six foot tall behemoth of a woman. You are dead to me. <laughs> I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree with it as well? Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and uh, I'll lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought. <laughs> Uh, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Big Cheese. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. Well, son of a bitch. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one before the festival... You son of a bitch. I'm in. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Blah, 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 blah. I would feel terrible for letting anyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls? Yeah, like the one that's dead! <laughs> right? Right, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' lies light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left off for all this, I would be super pissed. I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You really are amazing. I fucked that up again. I'll do everything I can to give a great time, okay? Well, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Write a poem, bring it next time. We go. I look at me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Wait, express myself? What the fuck are you talking about? Let me press the class star and monocle on my mediocre writing skills. Who the fuck cares? I already feel the anxiety rolling up inside me. Again, I don't care. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, see you tomorrow. Can't wait. Murr. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Fuck you! Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yeah, and then... Okay. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Uh, yeah, 
sure. Why not? Whoa! <laughs> <Bum> nail! <laughs> oh, that's not a poem. That's just the drawing. Oh my god, how fucked up is fucked up? That's fucked up. No. Oh. At least now I know how to make a perfect poem. Um. Uh. Uh. Captive. Uh. Oh, fucking god. Vacation. Uh. Cry. Uh. Electricity, marshmallow, uh, games, uh, oh, God, uh, fluffy, imagination, uh, contamination, I should have gone with vertigo, uh, fun, uh, Question, lollipop, lipstick, uh, climax, unrestrained, uh, mouse, raindrop, fuck, play, uh, bliss, uh, hair, uh, Oh, hi. I uh, don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh. Bye. <laughs> I never freaked out this much in a video game before. And I played some horror games, but this is worse. This isn't even exactly supposed to be that scary. That's the worst part. I think I got a little bit of time left. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm like Patrick Starr from that one, like, Yo Mama video where they were talking about, like, what kind of, what, what kind of, uh, weed do, uh, Spongebob characters smoke? Seaweed! <laughs> like, and then they had, they had a picture going, oh, I'm fr Patrick going, I'm freaking out! Like, that, that, like, wow! Holy fuck! Well, Jesus! I'm gonna, um, I already saved. I'm gonna go ahead and overwrite this save. And then I'm gonna exit DDLC. What? You're still in the picture. Hold on. Oh, oh. Um. Oh, that's nice. All these are promo videos. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um. I just thought something new would have been here, so. Apparently not. Music, sure, I don't fucking care. Uh, oh, that's not funny. Yeah, I was gonna say, if that's not fucking funny. <laughs> Sayonara, it was the song they played when you found out she hanged herself, or hung herself, whatever it is. Like, that's not funny at all. <laughs> what? Files? Can, what? There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is writhing, twisted mess of dread. Loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their hosts, seeping through every little crevice they can find, into their willpower, starving them with all, starving them all, motivation, desire, 
into their stomach, forcing them to drown in their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden by, only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable tangled mess it mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Huh? Happy thought. Wait, I know what elevated access permissions are required. Okay. Well, um. Actually, you know what? This will probably be a lot easier if I just delete what. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh where? What? Let's see, characters. Hey, 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 hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, do I get my old saves? What? Whoa, hell, oh! Did I write this down? <laughs> <laughs> I should write this down. Holy shit, that's a lot of words, though. I'm gonna go get some paper. I'll be right back. That's a shirt. Holy fuck, I thought I just saw something. God damn it, this game is playing my fucking mind! God damn it! The fuck! My dad had a shirt hanging up in his closet and I thought it was a person hanging from the ceiling and I'm like, what the fuck? Alright, this is uh, oh, here's a book I can write on. Alright, let's see. Sayori's winning words. Happiness, sadness, death, tragedy, alone, love, adventure, sweet, excitement, fireworks, romance, tears, depression, heart, marat, marriage, passion, childhood, fun, color, hope, friends, family, party, vacation, lazy daydream, pain, holiday, pain! Alright, I'm writing these words down. Happiness. Happiness is a warm gun. Hmm. Sadness. Death. Is this game literally just pointing you in the direction of how it's going to go when you are completely oblivious to how it goes? Sadness, death, tragedy. Fucking cars! Someone just, I'm fucking paranoid right now. Holy fuck! Pain. Like, if I were to pick, have picked pain. Oh my god. Tragedy. Alone. Love. I don't know what these numbers mean, but adventure. Sweet. Ballroom blitz, or excitement, fireworks, romance. Uh -oh. I'm just writing down Sayori's words because uh, those words are hard to figure out. Tears, depression. Deep, deep depression. Deep, deep depression. It's just a fucking cheerleader chant, but instead of go team, it's deep depression. Deep, deep depression. Heart, marriage, passion, childhood. Do all these characters, are there words like how they. Which is why I would have thought, like, Natsuki having the word pink, fun, color, like, would be strange. I'm sorry. Wow, I fucked that up. Fun, color, hope, 
friends, uh, family, party, hearty, uh, vacation, lazy, daydream, pain with a love, pain, okay, holiday. Yeah, stop singing that before you get a copyright claim like you've had like several fucking times. Uh, where am I? Holiday, bed, 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 okay. Bed, feather, shame, okay. Bed, feather, shame, fear, warm, flower, comfort. Dance, sing, cry, laugh, dark, sunny, rain cloud. Well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, these words have got to do with their story. That's why. Calm, silly. And spontaneous, flying, wonderful, unrequited, rose. Holy fuck, how many words are there? Holy shit, look at the bar. There's so many goddamn words. I don't even need that many. I just need like a page full. <laughs> Where was I? Rose. Okay. Together. Promise. Charm. Beauty. I only knew how to spell that fucking word. Cheer. Smile. This is fucking dark in the middle. Broken. Precious. Process. I haven't done that word. That voice alone. Huh? Mal process. Okay. Prayer. We're living when we're halfway there. Oh, uh, oh. Living on a prayer. Forgive and forget. Water under the bridge. Uh. Mature. That says nature. Holy fuck, I can't read. Ocean. Dazzle. Special. Music. Lucky. I thought that said lunky at first. Misfortune. Loud, peaceful. Yeah, you know what? I actually do like go through. Oh, wait a minute. That's ever. Never mind. I'm almost done. When I actually do get through this game, like a first time, just to be. Well, like I just did, but like. But like, I mean, like. There is more to this game than where I'm currently going, because like. You can't go back at this point unless I deleted the whole game and I re-downloaded it and did the whole story with uh, Sayori again, which I'm pretty sure that's going to do once I actually, like... From what I'm reading, this is, uh... This game is about... And what I've seen before, obviously. This game is about you wanting to be with Monica, or not you, but like Monica wanting to be with you and just you, so she's going to kill everyone off. I think that's what I've seen before. Joy. But she started off with fucking Sayori, and that one was fucking painful, man. Sunset. Fireflies. Rainbow. Johnny Cash is hurt. And you can have it all. My empire of dirt. Okay. 
scars empty. Hey, you know what? I just got a great idea. I'm gonna do something. Alexa, play Big Empty by Stone Temple Pilots. Big Empty by Stone Temple Pilots. On Amazon. This is a great song. Amazing. I'm done. That's all of Sayori's words. So whenever I actually get back to the beginning, even if that means I delete all my save progress and then come back, I'm going to try and get a good ending out of this. Alright, so anyways, this video went way longer than I expected. How long did it go? Holy shit, I should probably stop playing, you know? Alright, I'm gonna stop playing here now. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit that like button, bell button, share. I fucking love this game. This is fucking great. One of the best games. I think this might be one of the best games I've ever played. Yeah, now, say, or, uh, Natsuki's words are all the cutesy words, and then you got Yuri's words, which are all terrifying for me to try and say. Without getting in trouble. But anyways, I'm done playing for right now. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, do the like button. I already said that. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. I'm still fucking shook, but I'm at least better about it. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.